LCFS and similar kinds of programs exist to really get at the emissions associated with the transportation uh, fuel pool. Um, in California, in particular, transportation accounts for about 40% of total greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and these programs are, are designed to uh, address a, uh, an area that can be a little challenging to decarbonize. So the program sets a carbon intensity target uh, that gets progressively uh, more stringent over time. Uh, in particular, in California, there's a target to achieve a 20% reduction in carbon intensity by the year 2030. Um, and each year, the target uh, gets closer to that goal. Uh, then what happens is uh, fuel producers and users report um, on the amount of fuel that was used in California in a given year. And uh, high carbon intensity fuels, mostly legacy fossil fuels like gasoline and diesel, uh, generate deficits because they are above the carbon intensity target. While lower carbon fuels, uh, things like electricity, hydrogen, ethanol, things like that, um, that are below the carbon intensity target generate credits. Uh, at the end of the year, deficit holders are required to offset those deficits with credits. Uh, so a market exists um, for the transfer of the credits uh, between uh, the credit generators and the deficit holders.